Hey guys, check it out. A little two for one unboxing or unboxing and then building uh, of some stuff today. Uh, first on the right here, I've got this iFixit 64 bit driver kit, which I recently picked up. And I'm going to use that to actually build the thing on the left, which is the Hakko soldering stand uh, 611. So let's start with the iFixit kit since I need that to build this. So so the 64-bit driver kit from iFixit is probably the best kit that you can buy for, you know, general purpose screwdriver and electronic stuff. The 64-bit kit is a bigger and more expensive kit than the smaller 52-bit kit. I'm sure you can imagine because the number's bigger, it has more bits. This is from iFixit, like I say. I'm just gonna walk you around the box here. On the back, it tells you exactly what's inside. The 64-bit kit includes Phillips, there's uh, five of those. Flathead, there's a number of those as well. One, two, three, four, five, it looks like. Uh, Torx, there's four of those. Torx Security, there's a multitude of those. Pentalobe, JIS, Hex, TriPoint, Nut Driver. Square, Game Bit, Spinner, sorry, Spanner, Triangle, Sim eject bit, which is always nice. Then there's a driver extension adapter, the 150 flex extension, which I'm looking forward to playing with, the magnetized driver handle, and the easy to open case, and the lid as a sorting tray, which is another pretty cool feature. The iFixit website was pretty cool. I actually was able to get this because of a generous contribution from a user on Reddit who saw some of my videos and decided to give me Reddit gold. Thank you for the Reddit gold. The Reddit gold means that I was able to get $20 off on this kit, which is great. So I'm just going to slice it open here. Thank you very much for that. You know, those contributions uh, help greatly and of course help me to buy more fun kits like this. So I guess I'm doing this upside down. That's the uh, back side of it. Let's just flip it over to the other side and see it's got a black emblazoned iFixit logo. Hopefully there with the glare, you can just see that come across on the screen. I'm just gonna open this up here. That's very well presented. So this is a scratchy hard metal case. And I'm just going to uh, flip it upside down in order to get it out. It uh, actually has four magnets on the bottom. Uh, that you can see there, which means that it's sticking to my stainless steel uh, desk, which is kind of neat. Uh, nothing else in the box, no instructions or anything else. That's it, that's all you get. Let's just open this up inside. Okay, so first thing to say about it is uh, it's held closed by these uh, magnets in the corner, as you can see. Uh, this on the side, uh, these are little individual spaces so that you can, as you're unscrewing something, you can put the bits in there. You can see all the screw bits are laid out. I'm just gonna hold that up so you can see. You can see they're all sticking up in three dimensions. So it's easier to see exactly uh, what you're looking at. That thing that I've just knocked over to the left is actually the extension bit, and I'll look at that in a second. But the first thing I wanna do is look at this on the right. Now, on the website, it struck me that this looked like a plastic piece, but Holding it, I can tell you for sure that is not plastic. That is black anodized aluminum with a nice knurled bit there. And this this end is also aluminum. So it's actually uh, it's actually really nice and, and quite weighty. So let's just uh, throw one of these random ones in here just to see how it goes. Oh, it's also magnetized. Did you see that? Uh, there's obviously a magnet down in there. You can see it there. So when you drop that in, it uh, clicks in place. That's a nice feature. Okay, and I'm just gonna grab this to show you. That'll also click into place. And as I put one in the end here, this is a, a flexible, sorry, I just want that to go properly into place. There we go, you push it down in that one. This is a flexi tool, so what you're able to do is uh, turn it, and then you see I'm able to turn it like that, even though I'm holding, because it has this nice rotating cuff. So that's a neat, that's a neat feature too. It means you can get right into these tight and awkward corners and still be able to do it. It's really unusual that I picked that triangle bit to start, but hey, 
all the bits are useful. You just need to find the right application for them. Oh, uh, it actually fits further down into the case than I just had there. I wonder if these do. A little bit. A little bit. Cool. So that is the iFixit. It's the iFixit kit. Pretty cool. Very cool. I've been looking for an upgrade to the kit. And so I'm, I'm glad to have, you know, taken the, the step into the next bit because the truth is, even though I'm about to do a project that I think is much more simple, you know, you do really need some of these unusual screw bits to get into some of the more complex things like MacBook Airs or the MacBook Mini that we've got. Apparently it's got some pieces that you need uh, some specialized screws for. So it's nice to be able to have a kit that's going to help me tackle all of my electronics needs. That's basically I decide, why I decided to get this one. You know, they do retail for 50 bucks, and that is expensive, but if you're going to buy nice stuff, you really ought to buy yourself this kit. It It's not plastic like the other ones. Even though the case is, it's plastic, it's, it's a hard plastic, and it's, uh, it's extremely well built, as you can see here. Really, it's, it's proper stuff. On to the second half, which is the Hakko 611 solder dispenser kit. So as I'm sure you guys have seen in a lot of my videos, I've been using this uh, Kester solder here. And I've just been like pulling it out and pulling it across the desk. And I also have this stuff, uh, which is another Kester, but this is a half roll. So while I was on the iFixit website, I thought I would get myself this Hakko 611 solder stand. So here's the instructions here, and not only am I doing this for the purpose of an unboxing, but I'm actually going to follow the instructions on how to build this thing. So as you can see, there's a couple different applications for this. Uh, it could be that you're using it as a single application, as I'm going to do. So you have two different types of solder in there. You could also use this on a desk if you have two people working side by side, so that they share a single roller, or you can have people working opposite sides of the desk and uh, sharing this double roller. So this again is the double roller version so that I can have both on there. Uh, I'm just showing the, I'm showing off the Japanese part of the instructions or perhaps the Chinese, there's uh, Japanese or Chinese uh, there and there. Not sure, not sure which side is which. Unfortunately, I don't recognize the characters. But this says the Hakko 611 holds two reels of wire diameter of wire, different diameters of solder can be used in the two reels. Two operators can share. The solder can be pulled smoothly through either reel, which contributes to operator efficiency. And then it's got all the parts listed out, even though it doesn't actually give me instructions. So I get to wing it. I'm going to say I'm going to start with the base and kind of work my way up from there. Yeah, unfortunately, there's no further instructions. So guys, I just get to go this alone. All right, so this is the first piece I've pulled out is the base, and it's actually, it's quite weighty. It's actually, this base weighs more than that screwdriver set. So there's the base, then there's the two rollers and the handle for the top, the two distributors, and some more screws. Those will probably be for uh, these rollers. And then, of course, there's the two sidewalls. That's the other sidewall there. Okay. So I'm just going to go back and look at those uh, instructions again, even though I don't think that they're going to be of very much use. I'm pretty sure, I can even see it there, that these two sidewalls uh, curve inwards. So that's what I'm going to do with those two. I don't really know what that extra screw is for back there. Wasn't really any indication of it. Oh, that's actually the ground wire screw. Uh, so that's for attaching a ground wire. So that this doesn't uh, carry any static electricity. All right. So the first thing I'm going to need is uh, Phillips head, and I think this is going to be the right one 
uh, to fit it. It is. Again, thank you to that user on Reddit who decided to get me Reddit gold and uh, help me out getting this. These are two things that I've wanted for a very long time, and the Reddit gold discount to buy it has really helped. I really do enjoy making these videos for you guys, and uh, I appreciate that you appreciate them back. This is, because of the tight the tight fit in there, this is actually a very good application to use that, that arm. So I am going to do that. It's a really nice screwdriver, actually. I know it's silly to talk about how nice a screwdriver is on screen, but it actually is really quite nice. Well, just to show off how good or not good... That thing is going to be, I'm going to assemble this a little more before I start using it. Okay, so like I say, I'm going to use that flexible arm to get right in there. And tighten these things up. You just got to push that in a little further. Can you see me tightening that? I hope so. It's pretty neat. I'm definitely, I'm definitely tightening it. I hope you can see. That's pretty cool. You're add to, able to add quite a bit of torque to it. I mean, that's, yeah, that's pretty tight. Cool. Well, as my first use of the iFixit, I can report very good things. Like I say, really the benefit of this kit is the, well, the case that has come in is, is cleverly designed, that's for sure, but really the benefit of this kit is having all of these different shapes so that when you do an, an unusual, a more unusual project than this, that you can, in fact, you will, in fact, have all the pieces that you need. So these two are going to be, it's going to be the solder bit. And that is actually for the ground wire at the back. I'll have to put that in. In fact, I'll do that before I continue on here. The ground wire, uh, here, this will help me pinch other cables with it, so I can wrap a, wrap a cable around it more easily. So, nicely done. All right, and then here what I'm going to do is do the screw then washer, then nut on the other side. You don't want it too tight anyway, so I suppose, because you want that handle to be able to work so you can pick it up. Now, what I thought I was gonna see was two holes on this side but it's actually the opposite. There are two holes on the back. So you'll put the, you'll put the uh, solder in one side and pull it out. That obviously makes sense. Pull it out that way. Well, I've put this one in upside down actually, and I see that in the picture, it recommends that you put it in 
that way around. So I will put it that way around so it rolls over the top rather than over the bottom. I don't know if that actually makes a difference, but hey, let's do it like they did it in the picture. Cool. So that's that's my new soldering stand. Well, you can pretty much watch any upcoming video and you'll probably be able to see me use this. Uh, initial impressions are it's pretty cool. Uh, looks like I'm going to be able to have my solder dispensed from over in the corner of my desk. It's going to live just over here. So that's pretty cool. Let me know if you have any questions in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe. I really appreciate it when you guys do that. And of course, it's free to subscribe, so you might as well. That way you also catch all of my upcoming videos and all of that. If you found this video particularly useful, of course, you can buy me a cup of coffee in the About section below. As you know, I use all of that money to buy cool stuff like this or coffee. Nah, I never really buy coffee. Just cool stuff. Anyways, thanks again for watching. Don't forget to check out my other videos, other Raspberry Pi videos, other electronics videos. Check out the next video, basically any future video I'm gonna be using this thing, and probably these iFixit kits. My initial impression of both is definitely this is the best screwdriver set I've ever owned by a long shot. Really high quality for sure. This Hacko stand is a lot bigger than I thought it would be. Uh, I don't know how useful it's really going to be in the long run, but I'm pretty interested to try it out. And of course, I'll let you know. It's probably going to make things a little more convenient. Well, thanks again for watching. Looking forward to seeing you guys again soon.